Next we are going to solder in all the components. And don't be worried if you haven't got much soldering experience because it's not that hard and I will show you how to do it. Also to test your soldering skills we will start by soldering in the 40 100 nanofarad capacitors. So you need to remove the tape to get out the capacitors and there's two types and they are different. As you can see the 100 nanofarads have their pins wider uh, apart and this matches the holes in the PCB. Now, As you can read in the manual the 40 capacitors that we solder in first are marked C5 through C44. All the components on the board are labeled when possible with the value of the components. So for instance for the resistor over here it says 1K, so we know it's a 1 kilo ohm resistor. But also it has a number like R2 which is resistor 2 and the capacitors are marked with a C. So we are not going to do C1 to 4 but we start with C5 up to C44. So that's 40 in total and they can be found on the board in a clockwise uh, position. So C5 is the first one is over here and remember we put them in on the printed side and we solder them on the back side of the board. So I insert the capacitor into the board. Orientation doesn't matter. Insert it on the front side, the printed side, and we will solder it on the back side. What I normally do is I hold the component in place and slightly bend the pins on the print side, uh, the soldering side, so it stays put in the board. This makes it easy to solder. Now for soldering, we take the soldering iron and some solder. And the trick is to heat up the pin, apply solder, remove the solder and remove the heat. So I heat it up, apply some solder, remove it, remove the heat and I have a nice joint. And it might take some practice to figure out just the right amount of solder to use. So this is the way we do this for all 40 capacitors. When you've placed the component I double check to see if it's to my liking and now we have this excess wire that needs to be cut as close as we can on the PCB. And the wire that we cut off can be thrown away. There's no need for it anymore. So just a last check to see if the solder joints are fine and if not you can always re-solder. So reheat, apply some solder, remove it, remove the heat and it's fine. Okay so let's do 40 of these capacitors. I'm a bit lazy so I put in a bunch of them, solder a bunch of them, cut the excess wire for a bunch of them, so I do it in batches. It's good to um, do them in order, so look for the consecutive numbers on the board and solder them in in order, so you don't miss any of them. And after you've cut the wire, check if you're happy with the soldering joints. Now in this case I see 
there's a little bit of excess solder so I just use my fingernail to get rid of that and when I think there's not enough solder I can re-solder even after I've cut the wire to make a nice joint oh here's one I totally forgot What you will also notice is that sometimes, also a little bit depending on the soldering iron that you use, that some pins it takes longer for the solder to melt than for other joints. And the reason is that this depends on what's connected to the pin you're soldering. So if there's this big uh, bunch of metal that's connected to the pin, it will dissipate the heat fa fairly quickly. So it will take a longer time to um, make it hot enough to get the solder to flow. So that's quite normal. So every once in a while I check to see if I'm happy with the solder joints. Is there enough solder? Not too much. Is there any excess solder that I need to remove? And I look at the other side to see if this is fine. Yes, this looks fine. If you think a capacitor or any other component is not perfectly on the board. What you can do is use your finger, but be careful because the components heat up if you apply a soldering iron. But you can wiggle it a little bit when you reheat the solder. So I'm reheating this and I can use my finger on the other side of the board to get it in the correct position. So with soldering the trick is to heat the pin the pad the pin is in and not just put the solder on your soldering iron. So I heat the pin and the pad and I apply the solder from the other side, remove it and I can see it forming a nice round um, pad around the pin. Now if you have soldered this and the solder joint is not to your liking, you can apply, reapply heat and a bit of solder to fix it. But if there is excess solder, how to get rid of it? Well if you have a clean soldering iron, you could try to get the solder on a little bit on your iron and take it off. If it's too much, maybe you've even soldered a pin to the adjacent hole. Then we need some other material equipment. So there's this solder braid, it's copper wire and it will uh, suck up the excess solder. So I need to place it on a joint, heat it and the solder will be absorbed. Be careful because this is metal and it will get hot. Another way of doing this is using a soldering pump. And, um, Got one here. So we can also use a soldering pump. This is just a pump that sucks stuff in it. Place it next to the place where you want to remove the solder, heat it up, and then suck the solder away. It's now inside of here and it will come out when you press press it down again. Alright, this concludes step one. We have soldered in 40 capacitors into the board. Um, they might be a little bit off to the side, that's no problem. We can bend them to sit really, really straight, but we'll leave that until later. So this is uh, step one, the ceramic capacitors of 100 nanofarads. Now, what we also are going to do is to see if we have made any shorts. The capacitors are connected to the positive voltage in the ground. Now, if we have accidentally made a short, then this will um, lead to problems. And we can measure this by measuring the plus and minus contacts, the, the plus 5 volts and ground contacts on the USB plug. So for this I need a voltmeter. Or actually, I'm going to me uh, measure ohms. The 
this one has a setting in which it beeps if there's a short. I connect to the positive and negative side. There's infinite resistance, so I have not made a short. <laughs>